Hello YouTube, welcome back. Dwarf Fortress, as you can see. We've uh, started, so we'll finish. <clears throat> you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Tarbalash. Ta 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 to Barleybash. There are almost no supplies left, but with a stout labour comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plough, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter, entombs you. Just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the wolfmen get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place, Zagodlimol. Grip gold. Strike the earth. Off we go. <clears throat> okay, let's quickly rearrange the window so it looks good. Uh, we've started up here. Oh my, we seem to be quite high up in the air. Let's go down to ground level. Here we go, here's the ground. What's all this blue? We've got weird blue mushrooms everywhere. And it's grey grass. Intriguing. What's this? Dense bubble bulb. Okay. I've never heard of bubble bulb before, but we've got cherry trees, that's good. Sand pears. Pine, cherry, sand pear. You know what? I could go through right now. Feather. What's a feather tree? Where's it gone? Feather tree trunk. What does that do? We've got some exotic stuff here. And oh, wow. Look at how lovely the volcano is. It's right slap bang on the surface. We could immediately floor it over. Oh, yeah. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good as an embark. We could start our fortress right by the volcano, floor it over, and bada boom, bada bing, we're away. We're way away. Okay, let's head back to our embark where we started. In fact, let's zoom out a bit <clears throat> and take stock of where we are. Okay, that's the maximum zoom out. And we can't actually scroll in any directions, only go up and down. So let's head up, check this mountain we're on out. The mountain's actually greener than the flat land, which I find odd. But hey, maybe I'm just a fool. Maybe I'm just some kind of idiot. Okay, and here's our flatland. Now, this is its own biome. This is uh, Savannah, I believe. And this over here is... Well, Lord knows what that is. It's got these bulb plants all over it. I don't know what that is. Oh, let's pause. I've just unpaused it without realising. Now, this down here seems like a nice area to make a pasture, doesn't it? It has a certain pasture feel about it. So that's what I'm going to do immediately without even thinking about it. We're just going to start with not, well, we have unpaused the game, but only accidentally. And I'm going to zoom in a bit and we're going to quickly put a pasture down here because it seems almost too perfect. Here we go. Oh, that's as big as it goes, is it? Well, in that case, we'll start from this corner over here. Uh, 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 uh. Um, what was it again? Z? No, that's status. Uh, I for zones. There we go. So we'll start up here, bang, we'll go that way as far as we can, and down that way as far as we can, bosh, there we go, and it is a N-pen pasture, bang. And let's set the information, we might as well, while we're here, uh, not the gobblers, not the war dogs, but we do want the ewes and the ram to go there. Lovely. Um, yeah, oh, horses, apparently. We have horses. Okay, well, they can go up there too. I presume they eat grass, as in the real world. Hmm, they are some straight lines, aren't they? It's a, it's a nice little area. Very well delineated. Ooh, we've got some big old trees over here. Let's go down a floor. Okay, so this area here has some interesting stuff in it. I mean, we could designate some of this as fruit gathering areas. Seems good. What's this stuff up here? Twigs. Oh, okay, it's not actually... I'm not going up. I'm going up. I want to go down. Okay, so this is the first true subterranean level. What level is this? Um, 143, is that the right number there? Let's go up one. Yes, it is. And 144 is our first breakout surface. Come up a bit further. Nice slow area down here. And then there's this whole two mountain deal. Okay, and here, here are my boys. All ready to go. All ready for action. Okay, so where to start? Do we immediately floor over the volcano or start digging into the mountainside for some fun times? I'm thinking we go down to near the ground and then think about digging in round here, right? This level seems 
uncommonly straight. It seems like a perfect place to actually dig in. Oh, it's made of clay. Shit. That means it's not that hot. What's this here? Cobaltite. Okay. Cobaltite clay. I mean, we can get in through clay. I suppose we can make some nice long windy tunnels through the clay, can't we? Let's go in through here. So dig. There we go. Now I'm going to mine like a nice... Huh? Dig, there we go. Like, like a nice little tunnel here. Give it a nice little sounding. Figure out what's going on deeper in this mountain here. Or is it is it clay all the way down? That's the question. It could be clay all the way down, which would be problem. Which would be problem? Which would be a problem for us. <clears throat> okay. Uh, seeing as this is going to get dug pretty damn quickly, I might just dig a shitload of storerooms here for us to um, put things in. Enter. There we go. Just make them regular one shift room size. There we go. Dump, 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 dump. There we go. And another one here. Please. Uh, remember, you can right click to go straight to a square scoundrel. That's the thing you've got to remember. There we go. So enter. Ah, ah, ah. Lovely. This is looking good. There we go. I don't know why I said it like that, though. This is looking good. Oh, me, oh, my. What are you doing? That's better. There we go. Okay, let's get this dug out and we'll see how things start. So space resume. Presumably our miners will come straight down here. What else to do though? We haven't got any materials for building a floor over here yet, but we'll see how it works out. Oh my god, look, we've got 96 frames per second. This is glorious. Absolutely glorious. That's quite a little steep canyon here actually. It might be nice to make this into a feature somehow. Take out all the slopes. Roof it off. What's this material here? Oh, we've uncovered some actually in the tunnel. Let's zoom in. Rhyolite. Okay, so it's mainly clay, but we are getting into a little uh, a little stone area. Hopefully. Soil floors. Oh, these might actually be useful as some um, farming areas as we get started. Maybe I should get some wood collected as well. It might make sense to immediately start putting a, uh, a starter mason's workshop and... Uh, Woodsman's workshop or something? I don't know. I don't know the words. Open up Dwarf Therapist Scoutrel. Uh, okay, I will do that. Let's have a look at there. First step should always be to secure alcohol production. Okay, there's an interesting proposition, Plutonium Jesus. I'm just going to pause the game quickly and head over to Dwarf Therapist. I'll connect it while I change from screen to screen. There we go. Then we'll see how things are going. Let's read the dwarves. So, currently, we've got our diagnoser, miner, woodcutter, Miner, Mason, Carpenter. Everyone's looking okay for now, I think. I think so. Does anyone want to claim some of these early start dwarves? Ooh, cold coffee, yuck. Um, does anybody want to be Athel, Deduck, Erush, Muthcat, Sodel, Thickut, or Ubble? Anyone want to claim these people? These little dwarfy dwarfs? No? Let's, uh, let's head back out again. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit confused. Uh, Dwarf Fortress, there we go. Uh, unpause. Dum, dum, dum. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Erosh Sumunzol. Okay, that's good. Plutonium Jesus, I will do that right now. Let me just quickly leave you watching them mine while I go to Erosh Sumunzol, currently a diagnoser. Let's set the nickname to be Plutonium Jesus. Hopefully we've got enough characters. Pluton, I am... Um, uh, Try a space. J E S U S. Looks like we've got enough room. Okay. Commit. You're in. Plutonium Jesus is now a dwarf. Not literally. In the game. They're doing some very haphazard digging here, aren't they? It's like, yeah, I'll dig over here, you dig over there, and we'll sort of just wander around until we've, you know, carved a bit out of each room, but none of them totally. How's that sound? Of course, we could prioritise, couldn't we? I could set priorities. Let's do that. D, um, priority number one. And then we'll set this room over here to be priority one. There we go. And then maybe this one as well. Why not? Let's do this one as well. There we go. And the dwarves should go to that first. Nicely done. Churn through that clay, mate. Because I know what happens when you burn through clay quickly. You level up. You get super high level. 
Come on, diggy dig. Diggy diggy diggy. Hello, Thagod7. Welcome back. Or Vagod. I don't know quite which way to pronounce it, but I'm sure you'll help me out. I'm sure you'll help. Hmm. Name one Casper. Oh, sorry. I, I looked at your name and completely ignored what you said. I can name a dwarf Casper. How would you like to be our woodcutter? Well, it's a rhetorical question, really, because I'm going to assign that. You ask for a dwarf, you're going to get one. Casper uh, the woodcutter is now a thing. Officially a thing. Let's commit that change through Dwarf Therapist. And there we go. You should see yourself wandering around out here, digging away at trees. Which, of course, you don't dig, you chop. So, hence woodcutter. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like I might be losing my mind a little bit. Well, it is twenty past one in the morning. It's to be expected. It's to be expected at these late hours for somebody to have a little bit of a, a wandering mind, right? What's this? What rough brown zircons. Nice. Hang on, where the miner's gone? Oh, I bet they've gone up to here, haven't they? Uh, I'd better set a hotkey, actually, while we're thinking about it. Uh, hotkey number one, uh, number two, please. Zoom here, and we will call it um, Start Fort. Start Fort. That'll do. That'll do. Good. So we can zoom up to here, where presumably everybody's partying on a cliff like a bunch of fucking idiots. What's this? Stone wall? It's not an actual wall, though. You're being metaphorical there, right? Well, not metaphorical. You know what I mean. Obsidian wall. Nice. Okay, let's go back down to the diggy bit. We all digging now? We all digging? Yeah, but it was not prioritised properly again. Let's do it properly. Um, priority number one, please. Bosh. B -b Bosh. And then in here as well, I think. Enter. B -b Bosh. There we go. Let's get those two bits done first. And seeing as we've got a nice space for it now, let's build a carpenter's. That's a chair. Um, what's a carpenter's workshop? It's W, isn't it? WC. There we go. Carpenter's workshop. We'll build that right there out of rhyolite. Um, I will put a, not a screw press, but a stockpile for wood in the rest of the room to fill it out. And then we'll assign someone to start chopping some trees down. Hopefully not the fruit trees. I'll try not to do that, but we'll see what happens. And now also I need to do a build workshop, mason's workshop, right here. Bosh. And then we put a stockpile for, that's a screw press, stockpile for stone. Here we go. And we'll build it. Oops, a daisy. What, what the blazes is going on here? Suddenly you can't right click to place, place the cursor, apparently. There we go. Now they've got a stone one. So people can start running around moving stuff. Now let's have a look at some of these trees immediately outside. What have we got here? Walnut tree, persimmon, sand pear, walnut tree. They're all bloody food, aren't they? Well, never mind. We're going to have to just cut a swathe outside the front of the gates anyway, just to clear things out a bit. Give us some room to work with. So I'll move over here, up there. Let's take it right up to the edge of the volcano and bang! Priority one, wood cutting, please. Could somebody with an axe get down there and start making inroads? Inroads. You should create a stockpile so your dwarves move everything inside. Hmm. I could, I could, but I'm just going to do that for wood and stone for now. And then once one of these is clear, we'll make another stockpile for everything else. Look at this. We're clapping around at a hundred frames per second. This is most uncommon. Mind you, maybe I'm just seeing the world with fresh eyes from a new start. Maybe we'll be losing frames sooner rather than later. We'll see what happens. So this is open space. How far down do we... Oops, a daisy. How far down do we go to get to the actual volcano? Hmm? That's got to be it, right? So if we make some floor across here, um, build... Um, all floor stairs. So C, I would like a floor, please. F, and I am going to place it about here. No, one smaller, one smaller, thank you. And then all the way across here, right? That will work, wouldn't it? Can't place that. We can place that though, right? And then from this starter platform, I can work out a nice foundry area and build some walls around to set everybody off, set everybody off. 
Remember to leave an opening for sacrificing nobles. That's true. I should leave an opening. However, we can just fling them off the edge for sacrificing nobles for now, right? So we'll make it out of hazelwood logs. 89? Holy shit, I don't know if we've got enough. I mean, we might have enough rhyolite. Let's go down to the rhyolite. Is it shift enter to settle? There we go. Still need 40. I don't think we've got enough material of any kind. Okay, cancel. We'll think about this later on. Once we actually get some stuff to smelt, maybe. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <clears throat> right, where's my... There we go, there's my... Come on, diggy diggy. Diggy 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 diggy. Actually, while we're at it, let's get the carpenter making some beds, shall we? Uh, B for bed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven beds. Good. And you can start working on... And just repeat for now. We'll get you onto other stuff later on. Just to get you working. Just to get you levelling up. You know, exercising your ability to do masonry. Ah, hello, what's it to you too? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Does Dwarf Fortress have a Mac version which could be used on a thumb drive? Maybe. It's entirely possible. You know what? I've been recording for ages and I forgot to put the music on, didn't I? What a floppy cock. Okay, well, let's uh, get back into the action. Now we've got a little bit of backing noise and carry on. That's not too intrusive, is it? Nobody's being put off by the sounds, are they? Hopefully not. Right, what are we putting in here? Um, make it a bedroom, kind of dormitory kind of affair? Maybe not. Make it a stockpile for... Hmm, furniture? Food. Food seems like a good idea. Let's make it a stockpile for food. There we go. One, two... Bang, let's get all the food in. Nice. We're going to be... Uh, we haven't got anybody actually to do any moving, have we? Oh no, it seems like everybody's working. I suppose the doctor can do hauling, can't he? But the miners, the carpenter, the woodcutter... Oh no, the woodcutter's done all of his woodcutting. Oh, well done there. Um, who was that? Who was that for? That was for the God Seven, wasn't it? Casper! Well done, Casper. Congratulations on your woodcutting prowess. Um, all right, let's do some more prioritisation. Oh, it was already on one, never mind. And we'll prioritise this here room for completion above all others. There we go. You're going the wrong way, mate. There you go. That's where all the juicy mining is. That's where all the juice comes out of the rocks. Not quite sure that's the right way to phrase what I was intending to get across, but honestly, I don't really know what I was trying to get across, so perhaps it was. Perhaps it was. Um, now, I should make a blocks and Bar's stockpile here, right, for his blocks that he's making. Is that a gemstone he's taking over there? That looked like a gemstone, didn't it? Hmm. Hmm. The music could be a tad unlouder. Okay. There we go. A little bit less loud. A little bit less intrusive. Hmm. If you're using a school computer, just make sure you have a numpad. Huh? Oh, I see. I see. I see what you mean, for the use of a, a thumb drive based dwarf fortress. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can put it on a thumb drive and run it. It's only an XE, right, when you actually use it, but um, you don't have to install it or anything, but uh, I worry about the access speed. Maybe that's a stupid thing to th worry about. Maybe USB, well, USB 3 probably has enough access speed, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm just really trying to babble and uh, stop from being silent. How many beds you made, Sunshine? Let's find out. Let's make a furniture stockpile. Not U. P. F? No, P. U. That's why I went for the U key. Yay, here we go. That was incorrect. Don't do that. <laughs> P. U. Furniture. Good. Here we go. Bang. Lovely. Nice. So, hopefully, any uh, beds that are created will end up in there. And then we can see how many we've got. And I'll make this one a bedroom. This can be a lovely bedroom. Who will sleep in our lovely bedrooms? What's this? Featherwood logs. A feather is featherwood good? Should I be um should I be bucking mucking about without um without checking this out? Should I be stowing this for future use? I've never heard of featherwood before. Is it super light? It sounds like that stuff they use in space 1889 to make like spaceships. Maybe not. Right, have we got any beds? Build bed. Ah ha ha! Here we go, bed one. 
bed two, bed three. Oh, lovely. Let's put some doors in this guy's thing. Um, I would like you to make... Uh, what's a door? Is it D? It's D. I want two of those bad boys so I can put a door on the bedroom. And then hopefully people will be happy to sleep in there. I mean, not ecstatic, but happy enough. <laughs> Excuse me. Featherwood is very light. It makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, it's a name that kind of indicates it, right? Hmm. Okay, so we're getting a start. I'm scared with these frame rates that we're letting... I'm letting things get away from me. I'm not actually sorting things out as I should. Um, now, this, this is a soil floor, but only so far out. It's only a very early area. So maybe if I dig off a nice little side tunnel here and do some internal farms, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to see if it works. That was a little bit wonky, but never mind. There we go. Um, probably should have put that as priority one to dig out, really. Let's do that. Priority one. Priority one. There we go. And then just on the end here. I don't know why I always do these double doors, but it's just something I do. We'll make a nice big room and hope. Oh, no, look, there's all this rhyolite here. It's not going to be... It's not going to be good, is it? It's going to be shy. Goodbye, goodbye, designation. Actually, probably do this. That would be quicker. Ah, no, it won't be quicker if you do it like that, though, will it, scoundrel? It will be a lot slower. There we go, de-designate. End the designation. There we go. So, where do we want for soil? Maybe we go this way? There's a lot more clay on this side, it has to be said. Let's do it. Let's go down this side. Dig, thank you very much. Dig down. There we go. Dig down like that. And then maybe just do another room here? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's see how that works out. Bang, that can be our farm, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It would be nice. I must admit, I've not used my number pad a whole deal. My numpad has been kind of left alone when playing Dwarf Fortress. Maybe I'm missing out. Maybe. Oh, actually, I do use it for the plus and minus. That's a good point, yeah. That is handy. Man, they are burning through this. Oh, look at this. Immediately, it's clay, and then suddenly it's all stone. Uh, oh, no, it's still a soil floor there. Soil wall, soil floor. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We just got some zircons. That's all. Nothing to worry about. And presumably I can put a grow area in here, right? Come on, diggy diggy, get me some space. I want to put my growing zones in. Ooh, look at that, the rhyolite. Uh, the soil stops there. So there's some plantable space here, isn't there? Let's give it a go. Um, once they've cleared it out, I'll put down what I can and we'll hopefully get some growing going on. Come on guys, clear it out. There's one up here you've missed. There we go. Right, so build farm plot, which is P, of course, and then we'll see how we can build. Oh, this isn't too bad, look. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's bigger this side. Oh, and apparently we can place it on the gemstones. Nice, so we'll do that there, and then do a, another one next to it. Bang, and then another one. Hopefully this will be enough. There'll be enough diversity of crops. Good, get those built. Nice. And then we'll see what else we can get in there later on. Oh man, you've got a broken monitor. What's it to you? Yeesh. No fun. No fun having a computer that you can't actually play with. It would drive me quite mad. Quite, quite mad. Uh, this game can be more cruel than Dark Souls, it has to be said. That's true, a bucket of water can make it farmable, can't it? They just tip it over the ground and you end up with soil. Which is, I find a weird mechanic, but fair enough. What's this here? Pigtail seed bag. Okay, seed bags. Nice, nice. Oh, I should make a stockpile over here, actually, for all the seeds, shouldn't I? Um, I'll make it a custom stockpile. Custom stockpile settings. Food. Bonk. Uh, allow, no, uh, enable, that's it, and then we only want seeds, so can I, 
block all and then go down to seeds and allow no <laughs> block all permit seeds bang there we go there we go and then this one here now how do I do this one P no that's not how it works is it keep clicking food stockpile change settings there we go bang food down to seeds and forbid that's fruit and leaves no I would like to permit those and forbid seeds there we go thank you now we get a little bit of demarcation as to what should go where let's build another bed can we can is that all of them one two three four five six we've got one more bed coming can I st is it actually already made needs a bed no it's not been made yet it's okay it's okay hmm I mean, until you learn the basics of this game, it's an impenetrable wall of madness. Um, you, you've got no hope whatsoever. But once you start getting a handle on how it works, it's actually not that bad. What do we get from smelting cobaltite? Cobaltite. Right, we're doing good. Yeah, we've got the unused bed built. Bum, bum, bum. There we go, that's all seven beds down. Everybody has a bed now, which means... Stop doing that. Stop right-clicking and going all over the place. I can click there, make it a bedroom, expand it out. Maybe one less, there we go. Bang. And it's a dormitory. Boom! Lovely. Everyone gets a chance to sleep. How nice. And we've got doors. Build doors. Pop. Oh, there we go. Could have used those. Let's resize that dormitory. Um, make it the full size. Resize room. Ah, oh, that's better. Nice. Cool. So everybody's got somewhere to sleep. It's walled off, and there are doors. Good. Good. So what next? We've got our furniture stockpile. We've got our food stockpile. We've got our wood stockpile. Our stone stockpile. We have growing areas taking place. Lovely. Would you build me some? Build me, uh, grow me some plump helmets in the spring. Plump helmets in the spring. Uh, what do we do for, that's autumn, now summer. Bonk, I would like some plump helmets in the summer. And in the winter, would you please grow me uh, dimple cups? There we go, that'll do. Now about this one, um, I want quarry bushes in the spring, in the autumn, I'll have some pump helmets. In the summer I would like to have some sweet pods and then in the winter I would like more plump helmets. Who could get enough plump helmets eh? And then this one is going to be plump helmets all year round. C. Plump helmets. B. Plump helmets. D. Plump helmets. Good. Escape done. So we've got some growing assigned, so hopefully it'll all work out. Cobaltite is just a rock, no metals in it. Ah, boo. Still, it's nice and useful to make you know, trinkets and thingamajigs with. And it's, it looks good. Blue is a nice colour. Blue is a lovely colour. So, where next? Where next? Well, we need to assign some more digging, so let's, uh, let's do that. Mine, um, just dig out more rooms of this nature. I think for a start, a fortress, it really is the best way, right? We can have a, a kitchen and a dining room. Make a dining room here, kitchen off the side. Well, the first thing we have to do, of course, oops, a daisy, is there we go. Dig out the corridor. How far can we go? Let's go straight across. Let's just dig that out and see what we find. Make a nice little shaft into the mountainside. Let's zoom out, see how we're doing. Okay. We're taking up a large proportion of the buildable area down here, but that's okay. This is just our starter fort. No need to panic. I mean, maybe we could do the real deal in here. Or just dig super down and, and you know, start in the depths. Into the depths. Uh, Bergendorf, yes, you can place a link. Uh, Osmosis is on it already. Don't worry about that. Yeah. 
use the Dwarf Fortress wiki as a lot of a lot of info. I do occasionally refer to the Dwarf Fortress wiki, but I find it somewhat hard going to pick out the relevant nuggets. You know, you, you end up looking at an article and then you get to the end and it goes, and this was relevant in Dwarf Fortress, the version that was published in 2011. And you're like, oh, it's a seven-year-old advice. It's a seven-year-old advice? It's seven-year-old advice. Come on, diggy diggy. Is summer. Oh. Well, thank you for telling me, game. Thank you very much. The season is indeed summer. Do I start digging some rooms again? I mean, we don't actually have anything to fill. I need to build before I do anything. There we go. Uh, not just rock blocks. We need uh, chairs, tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Seven tables. Bang. And then when we've done that, we'll put them in here and we'll have seven chairs. Won't that be glorious? Won't it be delightful? There we go, that one. That one there, and we'll do ones on this side as well. Oh, that's the wrong clicky sound to make because it wasn't correct. There we go, bang. And then we just put a few more of these door holes in and everybody can get access to where they're supposed to dig, right? Cool, except now I have to redo the priorities on the rooms just to make sure they get dug out in order. So, we go bang, bang, bang. Bollocks! <laughs> dig, there we go. Dig, not a priority one deletion. Priority one assignment, there we go. Then priority two, we'll do this room on the other side. Bang, bang, bang. Priority three, this room up here. Bish. Bash, bosh, poof, there we go, and then they'll get all dug in that order. Nice, eh? Nice. Hello, X Mop X, which I presume is to be pronounced Mop, unless it's something like Zmox. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, I can only find out by inquiring. Hang on a minute. Why are you digging out? Oh, I understand, I understand. The access points have to be priority one for them to dig it out in the correct order. I get you, I get you, game. I get you. There we go. Bing bong. Good. Finally. They're doing what I want them to do. It's rare, but a very nice feeling. And we got some yellow zircons. That's nice. Uh, we built some tables yet. Oh, there's the first table coming off the production line. So presumably I can put a chair in, but we'll wait for all seven to get made before I start buggering around with chairs. Because chairs are going to be a problem. We've only got enough space for so many things in the construction queue. The feather tree wood is the lightest wood in the game, so things moved a lot should be made from it. Ah, okay, okay, I get you. So, feather wood, um... Uh, why do I want to call these things bowling alleys? Wheelbarrows, that's the thing. Bowling alleys. That was honestly where my brain went for some reason. I don't understand it myself, but, uh... Maybe future generations who stumble across these recorded documents will be able to figure something out. Let's add a new task. What do we need to make? Well, I think we need some bins, frankly. I love a good bin, so we'll put bins on repeat. And we'll put um, spiked wooden balls on repeat, because they're handy. For trade, at least. Repeat. And what else are we getting you on? Barrels could be handy, but we don't actually have any means of production of booze right now. We'll get down to that later. I'll put a still behind here or something. We'll see how it works out. Um, buckets, animal traps, cages could be useful. Let's get some cages on the go. There we go. These things will do for now. We can dig out some more wood when necessary. I say dig out because I want to be wrong and I should be saying chop down. <laughs> Bowling alley, wheelbarrow, same thing. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's a good point. How much lighter then is that, is that the normal wood? Maybe it's balsa light. Such low density wood. I could not imagine anything quite so light. Oh, here we go. We've got another room empty here. What are we doing in this one? Not much. Let's build some of the tables. Put them in here in the dining room. Uh, one there. That's a bridge. Don't want to build a bridge. I would like to build a table. Thank you. There we go. What the funky dickens was that? Oh, it's my green screen going again. Hooray! Well, we'll leave that for now. We'll turn around to deal with it in a moment or two once I've dealt with these tables. That made me jump. 
In fact, I've been holding in what one might describe as a PP, and uh, it very nearly, uh, it very nearly got ejected, just from sheer shock, pure unfettered shock. Let's make this a bar and block stockpile. The bar block stock, and that way we can start getting some of our blocks in bins as they're constructed. It'll be handy. It'll work out nicely. Excuse me, scratching my hand right in front of the mic. That's not uh, very cool of me, is it? Where's the f Here's the first one that fell down. Let's put that one up, shall we? Oh, no, wait. This is the second one that fell down. Should I bother? Is this really worth it? Let's give it a crack. Let's see how it pays off. There we go. Stick that there. Stick that there. And... Hopefully, it will stay up for the rest of the stream. Which would be a jolly old thing, wouldn't it? It's not stuck down very well though, so I don't, I don't have much optimism in that regard, but it should work out. Why no OG texture pack? Well, car poem, nice black thing, is that magic? And how am I doing that what? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, the green screen. Oh, right, yes, I've just got some green card that I bought from a uh, art supplies shop and I blue tack it to the wall. It works well. It works well. It's good. And then, of course, I have a, uh, a green top on. I mean, if you hang around long enough at the end of the stream, I'll, um, I'll give you a shot of what I look like wearing a rather ridiculous-looking fluorescent green roll neck. It's something to look forward to, isn't it? It's something to hang around for. Speaking of hanging around, those of you watching the YouTube recording, I've been recording for 36 minutes. It's time to stop and start again, so you're just going to have to wait for the next one. Sorry. Bye!